Here we have a diaphragmatic sniff test, which is done to evaluate uh, for a diaphragmatic paralysis. Normally when we inhale, both hemidiaphragms come down, and as we exhale, both hemidiaphragms rise. When we inhale, the hemidiaphragms uh, come down, we decrease intrathoracic pressure and bring air into the lungs. When we exhale, the hemidiaphragms rise and they push air out of the lungs. So pay attention to the difference between the right hemidiaphragm here and the left hemidiaphragm here. Uh, and this is a patient with right uh, hemidiaphragmatic paralysis. So I'm just gonna scroll through once here and note how the right hemidiaphragm is not really moving. If you pay attention to this hemidiaphragm one more time as I scroll through, you'll notice that it's not really moving. Contrast that with the left hemidiaphragm, which is moving. And as I scroll through, you can see moving up and down. And there's a marked difference between the two. So this is, again, a patient with a right uh, hemidiaphragmatic paralysis. It was of uncertain etiology. Uh, and so we were. this was a patient that was referred from the pulmonology clinic uh, to us. And so again, notice how, as I scroll through, the left hemidiaphragm comes down with inspiration and then rises with expiration. It comes down with inspiration and back up with expiration. And you can see that based off the instructions we gave the patient, the rate of inspiration and expiration is changing, which is why as I scroll through, you kind of see the diaphragm uh, jump. And the goal is, uh, especially, you know, the name of the test is a sniff test. The goal is that by really creating a forceful sniff, uh, as the patient sniffs, uh, you will see a difference between the hemidiaphragms that will be accentuated.